What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Von Serious Star, Serious V, the self help sensei, coming to you live from the airwaves, back like I never left. And today, we're kicking off the first episode of The Truth in Films. And this is going to be a series exposing different dark aspects of how there's a specific type of mentality all throughout a lot of different of the films that we watch from the past to now to current films and it's a pretty much mindset focused on aspects that have to do with control uh, conspiracies and things like that so this is what this series is going to be about let's kick this off today we talking about doom the movie doom they have books uh and they have two movies so far the movies is pretty dope i actually like the movies um i like the 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 way that the director actually you know put together the scenery and stuff like that like the the type of world that they created with the with the scenes and everything like that and the, the the clothing and all that stuff like that it's a lot going on in that movie um they they pretty much are a interplanetary type uh, uh society on each planet and stuff like that all throughout different galaxies and stuff like that um if you've never seen dune it's d-u-n-e check that out if you want to read the book uh, or if you want to watch the movie i never read the book but i've seen the two movies so far and i've watched a couple uh youtube videos and things like that about the actual dune series itself as far as the books and i read a little bit about it online but again i didn't read the books exactly so it's not going to be so detailed on to the books it's going to be more focused on the movie aspect of what i've seen in the movie and it's, I'm going to be relating these topics to things that is actually currently happening today in today's society. All right, so let's kick this off with what we got. You already know I got my talking points. I come with a couple talking points. Today, we're going to have about three main talking points on this one. All right, so the Doom movie, it has similarities uh, as far as different groups and factions that's inside the movie that's characters in the movie and things like that it has similar fashions to things as far as Illuminati shadow government uh, and one world government mentality and stuff like that so we already know that that type of stuff pretty much is going on in today's world so the similarities let's 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 go in a little bit into explaining who we talking about here when it when it comes to the doom characters and what i just said about shadow gov uh deep state and things like that all right so the the, the group that i'm actually referring to and this one episode is going to be the Benny Jesuit. Again, that's the Benny Jesuit. And these, so who is the Benny Jesuit? Pretty much the Benny Jesuit is a group who has a specific type of agenda. Now, the Benny Jesuit are a, are a group of witches with political influence on a galactic scale. They have an agenda that is on a timeline measured by centuries. And according to the film's version of the Reverend Mother, that's what she said, that it's their goals are measured in the timeline of centuries, meaning that it spans different generations. Now, bringing about a being known to the sisterhood as the Kwisatz Haderach, is the main agenda of this coven and this being possesses both aspects of memory as far as gender is concerned the Bene Gesserit have the ability to see psychically 
their memories of the lineage in their family. And the Kwisatz Haderach have the ability to see both genders' memory, which would be the first known to the sisterhood. Paul Atreides, he was born with both aspects to be able to see the female and male aspects of his lineage. Now, the, this being possessed male and female powers and is able to accomplish more as far as psychic ability than the rest of the covenant. So that's a brief overview of who the Bene Gesserit, Bene Gesserit are. Now, let's talk about the agenda behind what these, the sisterhood actually is trying to accomplish. Uh, going back to what I said, as far as their goals are measured in centuries. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when it comes to the agenda from the movie aspect, they have the different types of abilities based on uh, a substance that they consume uh, from a, a specific type of planet and this actually helps them gain more and more psychic abilities naturally without the need of artificial intelligence and like transhumanism and transhumanistic type of surgeries to enhance their cells machine wise they do it naturally through the psychic ability and again the agenda is trying to bring about a specific being known as the Kwisatz Haderach using they use influence behind the scenes and influence others through manipulation, subtle manipulation tactics, different types of scenarios to bring about these goals slowly. And if their goals is measured in centuries, it's they're slowly pushing forth and have been slowly pushing forward for this goal through a long span of time, pretty much. Now, how does that exactly tie into what we see today what we see today is a one world government push and for everybody who is into different types of conspiracies online and things like that and truth seekers and all that you know if you've done research on the specific group uh, the Illuminati uh, they have similarities to a lot of different aspects of what I just mentioned as far as the Bene Gesserit's agenda and it might just be in a specific science fiction type of way but it actually ties in to what's actually happening today and a subtle manipulation and movement towards a specific agenda which is the one world government agenda so when we also talk about the shadow government one world government deep state and everything like that these are the elites the higher elites who influence behind the scenes very similar to what i'm explaining about the benny jesuit so let me go into my last talking point which is the main thing for these specific, both similarities, movie and in reality, is control over all aspects of all fields of life. Even when we talk about something specific like the medical field. And for example, that's gonna lead me into the next topic of episode two of Truth in Films. It's Vaughn, the Serious Star, Serious V, the self-help sensei, coming to you live from the airwaves, and I will be back like I never left.